coming, Summer 91, another fresh Golo Entertainment presentation. The 1990 cruise and tour video as it stormed through Stockton, Mesa, Pomona, and Tulare car shows, featuring the most radical lowriders, sexiest bikinis, <laughs> so hot, they needed to be cooled down. And the unforgettable macho freaks. Check out the unbelievable 48 and a half inch multi pump record hop, set by LA's Junior Marshall in Pomona. Also, see what can happen when these machines are taken to the limit. And Alan Lopez, the 1990 world bed dancing champion, at his lowest point in Stockton. The shows produced are the best slow riding has to offer, from the old bombs to modern art. Don't miss the excitement of the biggest tour to date. The 1990 Cruisin' Tour, all new and fresh, along with a new soundtrack from Thump Records. your host for this 1990 Lowrider Super Show. When it comes to the highest quality and most exciting competition for custom lowriders, car and truck hoppers, bed dancers and entertainment, the number one event in the world is happening right here in the City of Angels at the LA Super Show. Last year's video took our fame from coast to coast and beyond. This year we have only one goal and that's to give you even more and say thank you to La Raza for making us and our unique lifestyle bigger than ever. Thank you.
Come join me and let's find out who these artists of the streets are and how they turn their vehicles into sculptures on wheels. With me now is Rigo Reyes, one of the winners of the 1988 LA Super Show. Rigo, what brought you back this year? More than anything, the sense of competition. We feel that uh, this year we have a pretty good chance and uh, that's, that's the main reason why. And how do you feel about the changes from last year? Uh, we definitely encourage. We've seen the development of the lowrider scene, and we definitely are encouraged in the sense that uh, traditional lowriders are back in the streets. Here we are with a member of the Duke's Car Club of Southern California, Stephen De La Vega. So, Stephen, tell me, how many trophies have you won? I've won 12 first place trophies with this car, two seconds, and one best motor. And what brought you back this year? Because I like to show my car. We're here with one of last year's winners, Vic Smith, with the Professionals Car Club of Los Angeles. Vic, what brought you back this year? For the fun of. And what do you think are the, some of the changes since last year? There's way more cars than last time and better cars. The long-awaited day has arrived. Here we are on Saturday morning, October the 6th, 1990, just a day before the LA Super Show, probably the biggest in history as Alberto Lopez, publisher of Lowrider Magazine, stated last week that the LA Super Show has truly become a national convention for lowriders. Well, let's see if he was right. But before we hit the floor of the arena, I'd like to take you on a little tour with the Amigos Car Club from the birthplace of East LA. Come join me. recommend everyone to low ride. Low riding is not just cruising however. If you want to see the whole picture you've got to be aware of the tremendous work that these guys put into their masterpieces. The setup alone of one of these cars can take about a day for a crew of four. So let's look around and see the work behind the glamour. Probably the largest variety of custom vehicles ever found in one place were lined up at the backyard of the sports arena the night before the show started. The contestants were often supported by their entire families in order to achieve the best look of the show cars by the Sunday 10 a.m. deadline. As we witnessed the greatest vehicles from all around the Southwest, it reinforced in our minds that Lowrider Magazine is the automobile trendsetter for the 90s. Shower, quiet storm for my sweet thing, never sour. I might be I'm ready, but I'm ready. 
like Aretha Franklin says, you know I rock steady so the bone don't rock and the grip won't slip. One time won't be enough, just like eating laced potato chips. You always come back for more self-loving, getting the girlies but never put one in the oven. Cause babies, uh-uh, I'm not the one having it. So when I grab the Jimmy, best believe I'm brown bagging it. And all the women, let me love you down. More better, let's get it on. The song in the background and that's the way it has to be done. From city to city, all the crowds we won. Over, no never need for raping. My homeboy TNC, want you bring my break in. But a short drag for the antennas and a funky little rhyme just so you can remember. I'm not Mr. Peabody, but I can drive science and language like a teacher. So quit all the defiance. Take a seat. Simon says it's time for some schooling. A professor with a ruler in hand, and I'm ruling more like a ruler's principal at large. That's right. I'm the head bina in charge with a unit as my PTA. I'm not lonely. Poet taking action, pulling all ten and Ronnie's number beginning. I used to keep it undercover. In the end, you'll say self love is like no other. L U V, Latin using versatility. Connection got the hookup, so we set up a strategy. Speak to the subjects with a soulful slang. And don't criticize like Ozzy Brothers, it's my thing. So don't put down the sound when you don't have one. Cause my voice is my choice, like owning a gun. Load the clip and let the spraying commence. The harder the rhyme, the more dollars and cents. A lot of people out there didn't think I could make it. The brass ring, I jacked it, didn't even need to take it. You're getting the hang. Well, I hung on you like an addict. I'm on rhymes and you're strung on. I really like the wanted. I'm chemicals danger. So don't keep sweating me. Just say hello, strange. I do the writing as well as reciting. While well, I enlighten, the unit is a spark in a class. Uh, people's people choice trophy. And I'll take four of you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, even more of you. I scores you up. Me and Ricky E. Take out. Time was almost up. So people were crowding in front of the ticket offices since early this morning. Their patience turned out to be well worth the wait because of another sellout event with a record-breaking 42,000 visitors. By 2 o'clock that afternoon, all the streets and freeway exits leading to the sports arena were blocked off in an effort to get a handle on the situation. But all these outside events couldn't bother the lucky ones who gained entry to the show of shows and saw Lowrider magazine coming to life. Bye. 
On the other side of the show, ANG Custom Sound of East LA, Kicker and Precision Power were busy with the sound off. Our field representative, Sam Escobedo, rushed to bring us the following information with the help of an expert. What is it that you look for when you judge the cars in the sound off competition? Well, during a sound off competition, there is a uh, sanctioning body, IASCA, International Auto Sound Challenge, that has a preset set of rules and a very thick rule book that they go ahead and tell you what to look for as judges. Uh, basically, right here, what we're doing right now is installation quality to see how good it's installed, how well it's integrated into the car, and um, if it works or not, if it's going to fall apart or not. And then after that, we go to uh, the sound quality, which is the, uh, the, the subjective part that the judges sit in the car and they listen for specific things. Examples being if it is the left, right, with the very center. It's basically if you're sitting in a uh, a car, you know, a car that's like in the sound stage, you know, like at a concert hall. And then after that, we go to the uh, the metered part, which they go ahead and measure the loudness and and how good the car represents each frequency, each cycles per second on a meter. As you can see, we look for proper size of wiring, how the speakers are mounted, where they are mounted, and again, how they are mounted. Uh, and the sound quality is basically there. You know, you don't look at what you see. You go off what, uh, by what you hear, and then again in the, in the RTA, as we call real-time analysis, it's just basically where the microphone is positioned correctively and stuff like that. That's that's basically it. So how are the cars doing today in today's competition? Well, right now, coming in an early time, we are starting. From what I could see out in the field, there is a lot of high-quality cars out here. Uh, nobody's really skimping. You see a lot of interesting ideas, such as in, in, uh, exotic subwoofer enclosures that are, you know, for the space and interesting mounting techniques of all the amplifiers and everything like that. Um, I think it's going to be a very hard day. You know, it's going to be a lot of good cars. That's all I can say, man. At 5 o'clock, I'm going to blow up like a bomb. Latin Alliance is in the house. Just look around you. Esencia en tu vida. 
bastaría con abrazarte, con besar Tanta vida yo perdí, que por fuerza tienes ya Sabor a mí No pretendo ser tu dueño No soy nadie que no tengo validad En mi vida no es lo bueno Soy tan pobre que las cosas puedo dar The biggest surprise of the 1990 Super Show was the Northern California Fresh Lowriders. They came down in force to show Los Angeles that they were serious about competing. If you take a good look at Loco 64 of Salinas, you will know why Southern California can't claim to dominate the lowriding scene like it has in the past. Inside the venue, Lowrider Magazine had constructed the largest hopping arena ever for the Skull Bandit Car and Truck Hopping Championship. Everyone, including freaks, has been contaminated by the radioactivity lab. In 
Red's Hydraulic in San Diego, California with Lenny and Albert. Tell me, this is a very unique vehicle. What inspired you to build Redosaurus? Well, here at Red's, uh, we've uh, recognized the need to elevate the lowrider image to a new height in performance, and this is the vehicle that will do it for the year 2000 and oncoming. So tell us about this very interesting vehicle of yours. Well, the vehicle itself is, uh, it is interesting, <laughs> as you can, I can see. see. Yeah. As you can see. It's uh, taken and roughly, um, how long? 4,000 4, hours, man hours. 4,000 man hours to build the vehicle. 4,000? Yes. Wow. yes. Everything has been built at the shop here. We did our own machining, our own engineering, our own research, our own everything was done on it. We, uh, we're into making right now another couple more of them. Yes. So exactly. there will be a few more surprises. Yes, now. hopefully. In the, in the future, shop. in the near future. There will be a lot yes. of them. Also, um, what else can you tell us? It can hop real good. Can How high does it 12, hop? 12 feet. Oh. feet. The whole car can top off in the whole area. It can hit 15, 16 feet up, front and back. We can lay it to the ground. We can just go straight right on the ground. Just lay bumper to bumper. I mean, we're talking bumper to bumper, not just, you know, just lay it on it. I mean, they could go, go forward, backwards. We could have it on a seesaw. We have a pancake. We can do whatever we want to do.
all the hopping winners and ask them all the same questions. Find out for yourselves what makes them so unique. Hi, tell us your name, where you're from, and what category you won in at the LA Super Show. Gary May from Los Angeles won single pump hop. Hi, my name is Ricardo. I'm from Vista, San Diego. Um, I won the multi-pump at uh, LA Super Show. And how does it feel to win that championship title? <laughs> Good. I've been working at it for a long time. Um, had a lot of competition. Uh, Chris Coca and um, let's see, it was Lonnie and uh, Junior Bats. So it was pretty hard, you know. It felt good. It was real good. It's real comforting to know that you're the best at something. And how long have you been into the sport of hopping? Oh, it's been like 13 years now. Four or five years. About five years. Five years. And how high was your hop that won you the title, and is that your best hop ever? Um, yeah, the best one, it was about 40. And uh, when we got out there to the LA Super Show, we did about 44 to 45. So about 44 was probably the best. No, it was 33 inches that won it, but my best is 36. It's a world record. That's great. And what do you think makes a winner? Well, just determination. You know, we do a lot of research and developing of hydraulic pressure, and it really has come through for us. Keep working at it, um, find the right parts, and uh, time. It's all the time. It takes a lot of time. You have to have a love for the sport. You know, if your heart really isn't in it, then you're for sure a loser. Thank you. <laughs> Here you go, Gary May, first place single pump. We caught a camera right now. Uh, first place double pump. Running flipness, first place truck out. Get on up with your body. Get real naughty. Dance, do it, move it, prove it. Shake your booty, cause it's your duty. Move it around like 2D fruity. Slam it, jam it. Man, I don't panic into a sexual frantic and find another man to dance with.
day of the week. You be saying, Peachy King, well, let me tell you another thing. What about dinner tonight with negligee and candlelight? You're enough man for me. How you feel about some peachy? Dance with me, let's groove to this funky beat. Joe Fontanella, owner of the Lowrider Truck of the Year 1989 and 90, Raw Deal, from San Diego, California. Tell me, Joe, how long did it take you to create Raw Deal? Approximately about four and a half years. How much time and money have you invested in this showstopper? It, approximately, the time-wise, about four and a half years, and, and money-wise, about 60000 What fresh new ideas do you have for Raw Deal for the 1991 tour? i got a couple new surprises out. I, I, don't, I haven't revealed that yet, but... I'll be coming out, 1991, Raw Deal. And one last question, how does it feel to win the Lowrider Truck of the Year two years in a row? It's, it's still surprising me, I'm, I'm, st I'm, I'm still getting the jitters on it right now still. It's, it's hard to explain that. Well, thank you for taking time out with me for the Lowrider Magazine video, and I wish you continued success. Thank you. Now, as a lady, I am proud to present the next segment where we show you guys how to work a switch. Check it out. The ones you hear about 
Never a description, but always a doubt. Here's the first character and the followers more. First up, the Latin mentor. My first character's name, money making most. With the pin star suit from head to toe. On the other boulevard late at night. A dress code for the workers, old skirt that's tight. Claims to be a businessman on the hotel. Give off the room and board and put you for sale. He'll be a nice guy till the day you bring nothing. Now he has a whip guaranteed to do something. Sherry. Is Sherry do it good? Very good. Give us the draws at a drop of a dime. At 1990, she give you a good time. But Sherry's for the brothers with no game. The boy was so dirty, she was ass the brain. She's in the hood and good to go. Street slang, the neighborhood home. The next character on the agenda is Lion Brian, a pretender. Brian was white, but as far as he was concerned, he was minority. Talk with the street slang, said that he gang banged, pimped a lot of holes. And that it was a black thing, you be you and well, let me be me. Yo, oh, yo, rich, Latin, and proud to be. Now here's a rare character, it's Big Sue Cat. The girl with the camouflage, no to attack. With the bullet blue jacket, heavy artillery, up the sound calls her for back in military. Taking out the whole crew one by one. The street gold, the glove winner, dancing the rough. Brad's pesses all day, do them more than Miss Schwarzenegger. Forget a 40 yo, she take down the whole kid. Yeah. Like the character's name, Mr. Trash Can't Jack. The big easy fears is taking a bath. He's the type of fella who would eat till it hurts, never brush his teeth, and straight to dessert. He's all a very ugly, a beer belly bump. Lives in the cabin with a dog and a gun. Has a friend of all sucks, kick away the bears with the aroma of a diaper. I guess he doesn't care. Now, when it comes to prominence, characters meaty. He got sugar in his draw, so we call him Speedy Meaty. He walk like a girl, if you know what I mean. Shaking his booty like a tambourine. His name is Pauline, but he used to be Paul before the Vaseline. Wearing leather jackets with tight blue jeans, faking them buns like scissors lean. My next character is Lionel the Wino. Kicking to the 40s and he think he can fly so. He climb up on the roof, jump off Superman. Well, here we are with the winner of this great contest, Alan Lopez of Fremont, California. Alan, how did you get into bed dancing? Well, I used to read Lowrider magazine, and uh, I seen the competition, and I thought I'd get into it. And what do you feel sets your car apart from all the others? 
Uh, the speed, the way it spins, and the way it's driven by belt, and you don't need batteries. Do you feel that the ability of hitting the switch is a gift, or does it just take a lot of practice? Just a lot of practice, timing each switch just right. What does it mean to you to be a winner of such a prestigious competition? It feels great. I just, I always plan on being number one, and I went into this show to be number one. That's great. And how did they welcome you back in your hometown after winning this competition in L.A.? A lot of proud people and uh, proud, mostly myself, really excited. And do you have anything to say to the lowrider community around the world? Well, watch out for next year because something different's coming to this track. Thanks for your time and good luck. Now let's go back to the floor and see who the winner of the lowrider of this year is going to be. What's happening, baby? I'm the one who needs no introduction. Cause I'm the world class doctor, the master of seduction. I can heal all your ills and give you extreme delight. But only if you allow me to turn off the lights. of the crew and I would just love to mix bodies with you your lips I would kiss your body I would hold tight but only if you allow me check this out to turn off the lights Will you turn off the lights Collect, for they will be my tip. 
As parts of your body I'd slowly kiss And others I'd gently bite But first you must allow me, Lonzo To turn off all the lights Now let's find out why the temperature for the ladies back in the sports arena is climbing into the red.
Who's it gonna be? One. Will it be number one? Two. Three. Number three. Gentlemen, thank you. All you freaks, listen up. I'm gonna sing you a song. You'll be taking out your pains before too long. I wanna love you, rub you, caress you, and hug you. If you're not in the mood, I don't mean to bug you, but you're the type of girl that I love to soak in. Lick around your navel and massage your skin. I'm the Casanova legend, raising your legs and grinding your sex box, just screaming and begging. Love is what this world is made of. Our strength, the light, so come and see me tonight. You're a freaky little mama, so give me that drama. Come on and be nice. I've been waiting all summer long to give you what all girls need. A little water to release, you see. I'ma give it to you good, great, you'll see a climax. It feels hype when your legs muscles flex all across my back. Love and devotion, your sex juice all over me, just like an ocean. It feels so good, so don't fight. How can you feel so wrong for something that's so right? Are you tight? Well, relax by the moonlight. I'm gonna get you loose if it takes all night. Yes, I love you. You have other clues. So let me stop and reminisce on the things that I like to do. Boy, you know I've got to tell you. I can't give you my sweet loving. No need to ask cause you're gonna get nothing. Well, you're in a thigh and why I'm a god I'm not even gonna lie I'll be this way to the day that I die So open up, shut up You might as well let up The B-A-B-Y-N-G is fed up Blow by blow, the water bed will flow I don't wanna hear not nah, And don't tell me no, so Let's make love tonight
Introducing Lethal Weapon, winner of the 1989 and the 1990 Lowrider of the Year trophy. After winning in 89, Mario Martinez didn't stop in improving his vehicle. His goal was to break out fresh for the 1990 cruising tour. Subjects with the soulful slang and don't criticize like Ozzy Brothers is my thing. So don't put down the sound when you don't have one. Cause my voice is my choice, like owning a gun. Load the clip and let the spray ink commence. The harder the rhyme, the more dollars and cents. A lot of people out there didn't think I could make it. The brass ring, I jacked it, didn't even need to take it. You're getting the hang. Well, I hung on, you like the attic. I'm on rhymes and you're strung on. I really like the wanted, a chemical danger. So don't keep sweating me, just say hello, strange. I do the writing as well as reciting while well, I enlighten. The unit is taught in a clash of the Titans, slaying weak rap warriors. And I'll take four of you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, even more of you. I scores you up. Me and Ricky E take out. Time was almost up, so it's almost time to break out. Let me start the last round with the round of hitting lyrics. Take off the silence up before you walk and hit it. Hi, we're here with Mario Martinez Jr. at Eminem Customs in LA. Let's go inside and meet the people behind Eminem Customs. Oh, that was quite a show. Mario, I've never seen anything like that. Well, that's a part of low riding, you know, the fun of low riding. And I understand that you have the most famous low rider of all. How does that feel? I feel proud of it. What gave you the idea to create Lethal Weapon and how long did it take you to do so? Well, I always had a dream of a car in this quite a style and I uh, always liked to have one when I was younger and uh, it took about seven months to actually uh, complete it. So what changes have you made since your 1989 Super Show Championship and do you think there's room for further improvement? Uh, the changes that I have made to lead the weapon was uh, the gold plating, the 24 karat gold plating underneath the hood and the trunk and the undercarriage and murals that I have done to it. On further room, I don't know about this vehicle. So does this mean that there might be plans ahead for a lethal weapon too? It's possible. The way that I've been going with this car, I think so. In closing, would you like to thank anyone for their support in helping you with Lethal Weapon? Yeah, I'd like to thank uh, Big Dave and my father and uh, all the people that participated uh, with Lethal Weapon. And a special thanks for George Campos, that's our poster guy now from m and does all the custom interiors. And by the way, the car does run Lethal Weapon. You probably remember what Kid Frost said earlier about 5 o'clock? Well, everybody wanted to see the star, which was hard with over 42,000 fans in the house. Earlier that day, the audience enjoyed Piera and Rocky Padilla as well.
high quality cars entered that we couldn't fit them in the arena but in the end they found a place outdoors let's do that i'm cooling in cali it's the summertime my records are selling so i'm doing fine i'm a cali native so i like the sun grab my bathing suit and head for the fun lift the top back on the samurai the sun is shining no time to stay inside time to head for the beach lay in the sand drink lemonade and wave my fan watch the tides as they start to come in on my beach with my honey named Tim on my body he put suntan oil eat watermelon from aluminum foil so come on y'all come go with me to a place cause it's summertime in Cali summer it's summertime in Cali out so I can stay out late. Call up my freak and go on a date. Even at night in Cali is hot. So I put on my vipers in a nice tank top. We stop at 7-Eleven. Before we go, I get a Snickers, Cheetos, and a bottle Cisco. Then we hop in the ride. Close down the street, put on a nut base and bump to the beat. Let the windows down as we run around town. Pump up the system, chill to the sound. Go to Hollywood and walk down the strip where the air is smooth and the mood is thick. As we was leaving, I see my homegirl Sally having fun because it's summertime in Cali. Summer. It's summertime in Cali. Grab your tan and oil, bikinis, briefs, soak up the sun, absorb that heat. Call up some friends for a dip in the pool. At 101 degrees, you gotta stay cool. Maybe and go to the pier like Rizondo. Call up the posse and say, let's go. Barbecues are going for family and friends. Like chicken, hot links, and granny's ribs. After the meal, regather the team for the game of volleyball. You know what I mean? It's summertime, so have a good time. But only in Cali, sunshine, you fine. So everybody, come go with me and spend some time, because it's summertime in Cali. Summer. It's summertime.
Wow, it sounds like thunder coming out of the sports arena. I wonder what all those guides in Power 106's Boomer Cervantes is so excited about. Mexicans here today, huh? All right here in the front row. You know it, bros. You know it. So you guys ready to see these piernas right here, huh? Esta listos? I don't know. They're looking pretty fine to me. We got a late entry right there. Check it out, guys. Are you ready? All right, let's go, people. Let's start the music now. a broad terminology, a four-letter word with a hype dope strategy. Use it on the dance floor, yeah, come on, do it. Guys, keep it down before you have to use it. Now girls, pump it up, you know you have to. Feel it in your soul without no ridicule. Now the feeling will be good, so don't dump it. Work that body, y'all. Pump it, pump it. Pump it. Now the sound is to the smooth. I got now. the dance Number floor one. packed. Grab Two. a freak and a Three. yes. Pump that. Four. Now when you pump Number it, one. you got to do it long. Of course, pump it, baby. Why right, you listening you to my song? Huh. Ladies, I'm sorry, we're gonna get out this on the last three bottles. We're gonna have a run off between these three. Pick one winner. Do you wanna test the music? your feet far apart. Pumping's not a word. Ooh, it's an art. It's like dirty dancing. A Let's rhythmic three. stroke. One. The center of your body, baby, pumps to everything. Two. Now, uh, when you're pumping, three. do it with a friend and not alone. We have a winner, so number when one. they use the club, I want to steal from the street. Pumping. Now, I explain how to do it. You put your hands on your waist. Spreading your feet far apart, right? Now, uh, you gotta get with it because the song is almost over. Mm. Here's your chance. Let me see you pump it. All right. All right, you guys had enough. You guys had enough. I personally had lots of fun today at the show with all the participants. And like everyone else, I am also wondering how the man behind the scenes feels about the successful return of the lowrider culture and the rapid growth of the movement. Al? Well, naturally, Anjanette, I'm very proud of uh, what we accomplished in the last two and a half years. We've taken the magazine from 10 to 165,000 in circulation. Uh, the car shows speak for themselves. I think uh, lowriders are still faced with a stigma of being related to, to gangs, uh, the stereotypes, which we're uh, breaking down. Uh, we're, we're creating a new positive image for, for the lifestyle. And I think the kids today, with their anti-drug attitude and uh, striving towards education, has really made a big change. And I hope for the 90s, they continue in this uh, vein and uh, make low riding part of uh, Americana. Thank you, Al. And if everybody keeps on doing such a great job, the movement is going to stay alive and grow.
Now let's go back once more and hear some opinions about this great event with our roving reporter, Sam. How are you uh, enjoying the show today? It's pretty good. It's going good. Got a lot, they got a lot of nice cars. So how do you think your uh, truck is going to do? Well, there's a lot of competition, man, a lot of competition. I hope it does good. All right, good. Good luck to you. Thanks, Thank you. I appreciate it. So how are you enjoying the show today? He's a quiet guy, you know, he don't speak much, but um, the show was great, everybody having a good time, and we're going to wait to see the results of well, the other trophies. Right, right. So how are you enjoying the show today? Fine. Did you see all the cars? Do you like them? Yeah. See any car you like? Which car is that? Do you remember the name of it? That big one right there. That big one over there. We're at the end of the show, and it was a surprise to see your car, one of the display cars, do some hydraulics. Uh, when did you get these put in? About six years ago, Santa Clara. What, uh, you've, how long have you worked on this car, and how, how has it placed in the show today? I bought it in 78, and it took about six years to finish it. Um, most likely I have a first today. I usually do. Uh, Oscar, uh, you came all the way from New Mexico. Uh, what, what do you think about coming to L.A. to see the Super Show? Uh, I think it's just great. I mean, this is where this whole thing started, and uh, Lowrider Magazine just kept it going and uh, bo boosts it, makes it bigger year by year. I think it's a great show, the best I've ever seen. I understand you're a photographer. What uh, what makes a good, uh, uh, what kind of car makes a good uh, shoot for a photo? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with uh, creativity and uniqueness. Uh, of, of course, a classic year or something like that adds a lot to it, but I think most of it is creativity and individual and the pride he takes in it. What about the low riding in New Mexico? How does that compare to here in L.A.? I mean, over there in New Mexico, uh, it's, uh, it's a bit smaller, but as far as the fire and the fever, I mean, they got it just like they have it here. How does the show look for you today? Oh, I mean, fantastic. I mean, uh, I've been to other car shows where there's a, a nice, a nice few cars and the rest are more or less. I mean, here you don't know which way to turn. I mean, everything is just so hot.